Hey guys, welcome to a, uh, another update of DVDs and shit. Uh, now, a huge problem with this update, actually. One of my movies came damaged, so I'm pretty fucking choked about that. Uh, problem being, too, is that the place that I get it from, I always keep my receipts, but for some fucking reason I can't find the receipts for this fucking movie. So, I'm pissed off because this was a great fucking addition to the collection, but it fucking just came damaged, and I was like, fuck, like, and not to mention, it's a second-hand place, so I sold my old addition to them because I thought this one was better, and now the main part of the fucking package doesn't work, and that's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, special edition, New Line Platinum series edition and it sucks because it's like the coolest fucking edition of this movie probably i mean as far as i know it came with all the parts it even came with the fucking little metal piece that came with it when it was new uh and like the book full of or the little envelope full of fake photos and shit but yeah kind of choked because one of the discs the main disc that has the movie on it has a fucking huge crack in it so the guys at the store know me enough, so hopefully they don't think I'm fucking cheating them out and, you know, whatever, but I'm there all the time. But I, uh, I'm really pissed about that. Even if they gave me my old DVD back so I could just put it in a case, I'd be happy, you know. Anyways, moving on, uh, here's some movies that I haven't seen yet. Actually, this one's one of them, too. Uh, <clears throat> here's some new stuff that I've never watched, uh. This one, I don't know if it's a sequel or not, <clears throat> Outpost Black Sun, uh, Nazi zombie movie, honestly, I've never even watched Dead Snow yet, so I don't know what I'm getting into with the Nazi zombie genre, but, uh, I don't know, I've heard good things about the Outpost movie, so I figured I'd pick it up, it was like fucking, I think it was like five bucks. Uh, next up, I got this for two bucks, brand new fucking sweet deal, uh, Never seen it, but hopefully it's good. John Carpenter's The Fog. I have heard a lot of good things about this. Uh, last John Carpenter movie I watched was The Prince of Darkness. Wasn't very fond of it. Actually, to be honest, I'm, I don't think I'm a very big John Carpenter fan. Cause I, as most of you know, I think Halloween's kind of overrated. But uh, I still liked uh, They Live. I thought that was a pretty good 80s flick. So you never know. Maybe he'll surprise me with this one. Either way, I've happy to own it because it's a classic uh this next one i got for two bucks as well uh and this was an awesome deal because i really need to get the first one so i have all of them except for the first one and i already had psycho 2 but i got psycho 2 3 and 4 for two bucks fucking wicked deal dollar ammo ladies and gentlemen <laughs> yeah fucking wicked deal uh you know pretty bare bones editions but whatever it's cool to have all well, well most of the movies. I still need to get the original. Which is fine. I'm sure I'll be able to find that fairly easily. Uh, next up. <clears throat> I've been meaning to get this for quite a while. I never never found it. I uh, found it for four bucks the other day. So, wicked deal. Uh, and that would be Late to Rest 2, Chrome Skull. And I hear this movie's a wicked fucking sequel. So, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Uh, I... It took me a long time to watch the first one. Uh, the deaths in it, I remember, were just fucking out of control, so really looking forward to this one. Uh, <clears throat> next up, what do we got here? Oh, I had to get this just because I have the collection, uh, whatever, or not not all of them. I'm missing two and three, which are like the best ones in the, like the sequels, but I figured I'd pick up part four. Fucking... Texas Chainsaw Next Generation. Honestly, this movie's terrible. The cover art is better than the movie. Uh, I don't know. The movie itself is fucked. It's so fucking stupid. But I'm a completist, or if that's even a word. Uh, next up we got here was a movie that kind of surprised me. The only found footage movie so far that I've actually liked, other than, like, I guess August Underground. And that's mainly, I don't even think that's a good movie. It's just the effects are good. I don't know. It's, you know, you know, it is what it is. Uh, VHS. I didn't mind this. This was pretty good. Uh, that and the sequel. I was going to buy the fucking sequel the other day. I left it there. I was coming back to get it, and they fucking sold it. So, 
shitty. But yeah, VHS. Good find. Uh, next up, a movie that I just recently watched with my dad, and fuck, we both thought it was pretty fucking wicked for the type of budget it had. And uh, that was High Tension. This movie was fucking awesome, actually. Like, I was told by my buddy Jory to watch this, and it took me a long time to get around to it, but it really did fucking blow my mind. Really, really good fucking movie, man. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> next up, I was happy that I, get, I got this with the slipcase. Uh, Hills Have Eyes 2. Uh, I don't have the first one yet. I just happened to find this, so I picked it up. Uh, this is the the second the sequel to the remake of Hills Have Eyes. I like the the first one better, actually, quite a bit better. This one, I found the characters made a lot of really stupid decisions. Like, uh, they climb up a mountain, and then, like, and I mean, like, they hike up a mountain. Like, it's not like it's very hard terrain or anything. And then they try and... They're, like, trying to get down the mountain, and they're like, how do we get down? And I'm like, well, fucking go down the way you came up. Like, I don't know. It just, they made a lot of fucking retarded decisions. I didn't hate the movie, but it wasn't as good as the first one, man. Not at all. Uh, and next up, I still need to get the sequel for this, but I was happy to get another Horror Legacy series addition into my collection. Because uh, I remember these when I was a kid, and they're becoming very rare. In fact, I can't even find this shit on the internet anymore. Like, I've looked on Amazon. I can't find anything from this series. Uh, but The Hills Have Eyes with the slip cover. And it's got, of course, the little cover art underneath. Bare Bones Editions. But, man, these things are becoming very rare. The only other one I have is Nosferatu. I used to have Evil Dead 1 and 2. But, stupid me, I threw away the slip covers because I thought they were stupid looking. I was younger, and they were the first, I think, DVD editions of those. So that's why, uh, that's why I threw them away. But uh, anyway, guys, that is it for my DVD update. Uh, I've got a couple more titles I'm probably going to pick up in the next little bit. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a good one.